Welcome back, Sethling here. Been playing around with 1.9 a little bit. Just wanted to show some of the things I found out, some of the more technical things, I guess. Um, first, what we have is a little uh, controller sort of thing. It basically, you can think of it like a connect. It become, the player's body becomes the controller. So if I move to the left, it'll trigger this piston. And you can see I step onto this uh, repeater you, so you can actually see if you're you know, on the left or in the middle. If you step to the right, it triggers this piston. And if you jump, it'll trigger the piston above. And so the jumping is made possible by this new uh, fence post hitbox. Notice I can walk right up to it um, because it's not attached to anything. It doesn't take up the whole block anymore, which means that when I jump, my hitbox intersects the pressure plate's hitbox and I trigger it, so then that triggers the piston above it. So that's kind of cool, it's like a little... I, I might use this for a game in the future, as it's a nice, kind of compact and easy way uh, for the player to control stuff like that. So, that's cool. Um, some other stuff, I've been uh, looking at pa passive mobs, and um, so now they, they don't despawn when you go really far away. Which, <coughs> which is kind of cool because it means that you can build contraptions that have passive mobs in them and expect them to work even if you go really far away or log out or whatever. So um, specifically I was looking at pigs with saddles. Um, and so uh, I, I, I like having a pig in a saddle in a minecart and I'll show you why in a bit. But uh, but but first I want to mention that I found out that animals, passive animals, if you put them in minecarts, they will stay in the minecart uh, until you log out. And then if you log out and the minecart is standing still, they're just going to get out of the minecart. But if you log out and the minecart's moving, they're going to stay where they were. Which is cool because um, they're... The mine, like I was saying, the minecart with a pig is actually kind of useful. So let me show you um, one reason that's true. So I'm gonna let this come to a stop, um, and it'll take a minute. Um, but basically, all, a lot of the stuff that I showed with um, the minecart stacking thing, where you could just press a button to get the minecart going or whatever, um, also applies to pigs and saddles. Pigs with saddles in minecarts. Um, is he close enough? I'll wait for him to stop all the way. So you can press the opposite direction, and and the pig in the minecart will go uh, the other direction than the direction you push. So let me just I think if I got get on, he'll start moving really fast. Yeah. Oh, whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Uh, let me see if I can just stop it. No, not really. Uh, if I get on the pig, though, yeah, you'll start going full speed. Um, and the pig will look around and whatever. Uh, so this will go on forever. It's kind of like the uh, the triple minecart thing, except I think this actually won't like the triple minecarts will separate if if you uh, let them go for long enough. Whereas this won't. And uh, here, let me just get this right. Okay. So now if I get on the pig and I push a direction, I'll push uh, forward. Uh, the pig starts going. So it's kind of cool that that you can control the pig like that. Um, unfortunately, you have to keep the minecart moving at all times if if you don't want the pig to get out of the minecart when you log out. So that's kind of unfortunate because it really restricts uses or you have to create a bunch of tricky mechanisms to, to make the, the whole thing uh, so that the pig will stay around. Anyway, so that's pigs and minecarts. Um, so na next, I played around a bit with uh, with these guys, the snow golems. So one thing I just wanted to try out, and it does work, is uh, if you have snow anywhere near glowstone, it will melt eventually. And so, but a but a um, snow golem on top of a block will always put snow back on. So randomly, this thing will, like you just saw, will the snow will melt and then it'll come back immediately, and that'll trigger this block update detector. 
So it's just kind of a random pulse generator. It's not... I don't know that it's that good of a one. It's, it's not uh, very quick. But it is a random pulse generator. Um, let's see. This is just a little 2x2x2 two by two by two way a uh, uh, little snow factory. So if you had a shovel and you were in survival, you could... Uh, you can get snowballs out of this really fast, and it's it's a little bit smaller than smaller than other designs I've seen. And then um, let's see, here's just some snow on top of glowstone, and it's kind of interesting how as he moves around, he puts snow on, but then it melts. I don't know, not that interesting. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you, uh, I don't know if this has been documented anywhere. It probably has, but it's it's pretty cool, and I'm I'm trying to think if there might be any uses for it but uh if if you're so if you're near a passive mob and you pull out wheat let's see are there any passive mobs around no not really okay if you're if you're near a passive mob and you pull out wheat they'll 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 start walking towards you if you're near a snow golem and you pull out wheat they will start uh aggroing you they'll attack you as if you were an uh you know an uh, aggressive hostile mob so um that's kind of interesting and even if you put the wheat away and come back, they'll still be angry at you. I don't know. Um, this guy isn't angry at me, but then I pull out the wheats, and once he turns around and sees me, he's going to be angry at the wheat. So, hello. Yeah, there we go. And so maybe they'll start attacking each other. Yeah, it's actually kind of fun to get a bunch of these guys um, aggroing you, and, and if they hit each other, they'll start fleeing and stuff. Just kind of weird effects. Anyway, that's kind of the result of me playing around with 1.9 for a bit, and there was just some interesting stuff that I thought you guys might like to know about. So, thanks for watching.